Hello and welcome. This is Damien with Dice Junkies and today we're going to do the armor video uh, for the armor set that we used in the Necromancer 1 to 70 video. I'll give you a quick overview of uh, of the set. Of course, it was the Legacy of Nightmares. And with the Legacy of Nightmares, you have to have all ancients to make it work. Uh, when you have all ancients, it gives 100% increased damage dealt and it reduces your damage taken by 4%. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to have all your ancient gear and these two rings and that makes up the Legacy of Nightmares. Now what's special about the Legacy of Nightmares is that you are not confined to a certain build of a certain set. You can do anything you want to do as far as builds go when you use the Legacy of Nightmares. That's what, that's what makes it where a lot of people like it. What we wanted to do was have this complete set bonus at level 1. And I'm going to show you how we did it. So the first thing, I'm just going to show you the gear and some of the reasons that we chose the pieces that we did. Uh, a lot of it had to do with what dropped, to be quite honest. But we, uh, we did choose a weapon that does a Poison Nova. Uh, this was Necromancer. Uh, uh, a, a choice for the Necromancer because of a you know a nod to Diablo 2's Necromancer with the Poison Nova so we chose this because it was um, it was something that we thought a Necromancer would have now you can see this weapon is level 70 but I'll explain that also in just a second then uh, we just picked stuff like immune to knockback and stuns so that you wouldn't be bogged down or anything like that. Uh, the wall of man, it protects you with a shield of bones. That just seemed to fit right in. The illusory boots, you can just walk through your enemies, no big deal. Primary skills generate with the depth diggers. That's To me, that was just, you know an automatic right there because when you're first starting at a level one the only thing you're going to have is primary resource so i wanted to get those leoric's crown due to the effect that it has on gems that you put in there we, we put a red gem for more experience this is not the fastest leveling set that you'll have but that wasn't what we were we were shooting for we wanted to put the legacy of nightmares together at level one and then when you reach level 70, you can just farm in this set. You don't have to go make anything at, you know, at the uh, armory. You don't have to make anything or do anything like that. But uh, we tried to do things that would fit in with the Necromancer, like the, the Skeleton King's shoulders. Um, you know, and we, we just tried to do a theme. So that's why we chose this, this gear that we did choose. Now... How did we get it all to level one? A lot of you out there already know how this works, but this video is going to be geared for those who don't know how it works, and I'm going to explain it. And, you know, if that doesn't interest you, hey, that's great. But for the ones that don't know or are unsure exactly how something works, then this is going to be for you. <clears throat> now, as far as the, the gems you have to have the gems of ease and you have to farm up one gem of ease for each piece of equipment so what we did is we farmed up gems of ease to level 25 and then we put them with the specified armor that we wanted into Kanai's cube using that recipe which I will show you in just a moment and that turns all your gear that turns that piece of gear and that gem will turn it into a level one piece of gear now, I did not do that for the weapon for this reason. This level 25, you get 1,750 experience per kill. We leveled this gem up to 50, which gives you 3,000 experience per kill. And this level 50 gem is the one that we just put into the socketed weapon. We didn't change the weapon to level 1 because the gem automatically does that when you socket it. So we put it there. And we made basically this level 70 item a level one item that can be you know we can take that gem out and put it in something else 
but that will go back to being a level 70. Now, as far as how you transmute it, you come over to the cube. You pop up the recipes. And you go through the recipes until you get to the work of Cathan. This removes level requirement. It takes an equipable item. It does not have to be ancient. We used ancients because Legacy of Nightmares. But all you need is an equipable item. It can be a ring, a weapon, shield, armor, whatever. And a rank 25 gem of ease. Or higher. You can, you can go higher, but it just takes a rank 25. So we're going to take an ancient chess piece and put it in the cube. And we're going to take this level 25 gem of ease and put it in the cube. That's the only things in the cube. We're going to transmute it. A level one. All right, now over here, we have just a legendary item. So we're going to do that and that. Take that out. And then you just have the level 70 legendary pants and the level, level 25 gem of ease. And let's try that again. There we go. And that's it. They're now level one. That's how you do every piece of gear. Uh, with the Legacy of Nightmares, you have to have Ancients, but you do it the exact same way for either one. If you didn't, if you did not want to do a Legacy of Nightmares, you just wanted to get a bunch of gear, <clears throat> excuse me, a bunch of legendary gear to level one so that you could put it on a new character and run them through with just legendaries and no set item, then you could do it. But, uh, you know, that's, that's three, six, nine, 12, 13 gems of ease to level 25. So you're going to have to run a lot of greater rifts to level all those gems of ease up to 25 at least. And then if you do like we did, then you're going to have to run uh, GR 59s to get to rank 50 easily. Uh, we just ran GR 59s and we got it up to level 50, rank 50, and I was like, okay, that's good. We'll stop at rank 50, and that's what we're going to go with. Now, in the links below, in the description below, I'm going to have a link to how you get Kanai's Cube because I know some of you uh, don't know how to get it. And that's not a bad thing because I didn't know how to get it. Uh, so I have a page on Game Revolution that will tell you how to go through the process of getting Kanai's Cube. Uh, if you're playing, you know, in campaign mode, once you get to the area where you need to be to get Kanai's Cube, it'll walk you through it. So you can get that with no problem. If you're playing in adventure mode, it has the instructions to get it also if you don't have it yet. So don't worry about that. That link will be in the description below. And that's how you do it that there's nothing else there's no complicated procedure you level gems of ease up you put them in the cube with whatever gear you want to transmute to level one and you just transmute it and as you can see both level ones that's it nothing more once you do that you put all your set together you throw your level 50 gem in your weapon and then you just uh, you just go to town. Now, how I did it is I started with Torment 6. That's as high as I could start out. Torment 6. <clears throat> and I just opened a Nephilim Rift. And I'm not going to run this Rift. I'm not going to run the whole Rift. I'm just going to show you a couple of kills. And I'm going to show you just how fast it is that you level up. If you've watched the other video, then you know that I did this in 12 minutes and 15 seconds. That's not a speed record. People have done it faster. But that wasn't the point. But anyway, you open the uh, the Torment 6, you go in, and, you, and you know, you just have your basic, you just have your basic spell starting out. Alright, I just killed just those, just those, right there. Just, look, they're still running up, and I'm still just gaining a level. 26 levels, just that quick. Now we're at 29. And, you know, I mean, we have, we just walked in the door. And that literally is all there is to being able to do this. Uh, it just takes a lot of work to get the gems to ease. 
that's the hardest part is leveling those gems to ease and if you want to do the legacy of nightmares finding the ancients honestly it took us longer to find the ancients than it did to level up the gems so anyway that's it i just wanted to show you how i did the gear what you need to do to get the gear uh and show you how fast it like you know you saw exactly what we just did and you know she's level 40 it's that simple if you have any questions definitely put them in the comments uh, that's what this video is about i'm addressing questions that i got in the comments on the other video thank you for watching uh, i hope it was informative for you like i said we'll have links in the description uh, to show you how to do some other things and uh, hey thanks for watching again have a great day